Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is episode 51 of Camping Buddies. Today we are sadly missing Kelly, but we're going to try to make it work. He kind of dropped the ball on scheduling. Actually, um, that's that's a perfect first fucking topic, though. This motherfucker, I texted the group chat. I said, four o'clock, question mark. Everyone did a thumbs up, but he went a fucking head and he sent a picture of himself giving a thumbs up saying, see then I text him and I call him and he goes, what? I'm like, the podcast? And he goes, oh, right. I think I'm going to miss this one. Fuck you, Kelly. I hope you listen to this fucking episode and know how fucking dumb you are. I'll love, love Kelly, but for love. real. No, but <laughs> fuck you. All right. I'll love, but come on. Come on, man. Right, enough shit talking. This one's mainly gonna be talking about video games, I believe. Our typical what? MO. Yeah. Well, I feel Still. like there's a lot of news going on with video games right now. True. Very true. Very true. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna start with our. Which one do you guys want to lead in with? Um, uh, I can start with cross progression. Um, going here. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So Apex cross progression uh is rolling out over time as people have been finding out. It's not like a start of the season. We have cross progression and we move forward. No, it's it's not that at all. So uh, we uh. I just got a prompt today, finally, after, like, what, six, seven days since it came out uh, of cross-progression. It said, every account under this account is going to be merged. You're welcome. Realizing that it's the wrong email altogether, which means that you can't also just merge your fucking accounts, like, different accounts. It's just... It's just one email and different devices, which is really fucking dumb. Um, So I had to unlink it and link my other email, and now I have to wait for the prompt again. Uh, As well as people have been experiencing glitches, I think someone, as you said, Hector, I think I saw the same thing. The guy got reduced to level one because it took his newer account and um, just did that. Like they, it doesn't. He doesn't have any of his shit. I don't think. Yeah. It just like restarted all of his shit. I think. I don't know how they're. I don't think they'll even be able to like give him back all of his stuff if it's just gone. They'll just be like, "Oh, sorry," or just like not even say anything. EA and EA just, would literally not do it. Yeah, you're just screwed at that point. EA's cheeks. Cheeks. Yeah, so needless to say, I'm not touching that game until I have all my stuff still. Um, I just, I don't even think I'd really be having fun with it right now, I'll be honest. Like, I, it sounds like it's been, like, hellish to play it. Like, not even, like, that fun. I don't think it's any different than it used to be. It's pretty much fine. Yeah, I think it's the same amount of like, oh, really good fights, really good, oh, third parties. <laughs> it's yep. that, it's always been that. <laughs> right. I don't know. I think the only reason we haven't been doing great when we were playing is because we're rusty as fuck because we haven't really? been playing it. We hop on one time for like one hour and we're like, oh, what a shitty session. <laughs> yeah. What a shitty game. <laughs> I'll be back on tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> this is like, it's just like, I'm so upset about it. You know, another thing too, that pisses me off recolors for heirlooms should be like a crafting material, like thing you can do. There's recolors. Yeah. So yeah, they like have, rates. they have rates kunai and they have revs, uh, scythe. And like, I just think it's so fucking stupid because I, I went on to my account on the Xbox and I was like, I wonder if I could do that. Can't do that. You need heirloom shards, which is so fucking dumb. It's a variant. Like, come yeah, on. Pretty dumb. 
Uh, and why would they only let um, have for two characters at a time? They're rolling them out like prestige skins, like they're their own fucking event. What? Yeah, it's That's really stupid. Annoying. I don't know. Uh, so, uh, in in better news, in better news in the gaming world, OG Fortnite is back, and that's what I've been rolling with a fucking ton. We've gotten a listen on it. Somebody, somebody, if you're listening, she's a default skin. Donate to our cause to get her a skin so she'll play with oh, us yeah. for the rest of the month. My account is Alyssa Cat. <laughs> yeah, at one of millions. <laughs> Can't you get one of the skins that you already own? No, you can't. That's that's not a thing. You can only gift from the shop. Oh. That's so dumb. Otherwise, okay. I would have given her something by now. I'll take any skin, but preferably a cat or a lady skin in general. <laughs> I'm gonna get the buffest dude. I'm gonna get you the uh the was it, the weightlifting cat. It had a weightlifting cat. That's dope. Seasons. It's just like Someone's a gonna buff get cat. me a fucking person in a suit that's just a big ass foot. <laughs> it's just a big ass foot. What the hell? Nah, they're gonna get you fucking Rick Sanchez. Oh boy. Or one of the the thumb thingies from Spy Kids. Oh, I wouldn't That'd mind. That would be a terrifying skin. skin. <laughs> oh, I would love that actually. <laughs> What the hell? Uh, all right. Well, yeah. OG Fortnite is back. We've been rolling with it a lot. It's been a lot of fun. I've been I've been having a fuck ton of fun on it. Um, I haven't been getting a whole whole lot of dubs, but I haven't been like so pissed that I've just wanted to stop playing. I don't think I really get tired. That's it. Why don't you do builds? Because yeah. it's so fucking sweaty on builds. There's a guy I saw on TikTok who is like. Oh yeah, I mean everyone who's like OG like original Fortnite players like they they'll they're complaining about all the fucking turbo sweats that never left or fucking little Timmy who looked up like 70 tutorials and practiced on school nights. Like it's 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 so bad now. So like he made his own um creative mode where you can only build every like second. So it's back to like how things were when the game first came out when people were trying to figure it out where they would like build a wall at a time you know mm -hmm. what i mean so he has that set up in a creative map but like i want like dub dub so i just went with no <laughs> and it's fun i i i don't think like the building was even that crazy I like the building was pretty fun it was fun back in the day it's just not now yeah I can't build fast enough to use it in a fight. The only time I build is to get to a second floor. <laughs> yep. But I think it's yeah. useful then, because then I, I hate parkouring without build now. I don't yep. know the maps, I don't know the houses, I don't know nothing. I'm a default. <laughs> I'm a default. I'm a default. <laughs> um, but yes, yeah, so they added all that shit. Um... But the, the, they fucking so the loot pool in the time of the current map that they have out right now is was is so much bigger in my opinion than what they actually currently have out like available. Like they they took out uh I'm pretty sure shockwaves were a thing, like at this point in time in the game. And I'm also pretty certain that the minigun was around. I'm pretty certain that the fucking um heavy i know for a fact the heavy sniper was around that was like always a thing i, I miss the heavy fucking sniper a lot i haven't seen the bolt action at all well jesse's got a bolt action they do have bolt actions they do need to um i just remember one thing that they the homing rocket dude where's the homing rocket why would you want that it's so much fun. Like, you just control the fucking rocket. Oh my god, dude, rocket rides were amazing with that thing. <laughs> you know? I just think that we're missing a few fucking items, and if we just got them back in the game, it'd be, it'd be that much more fun. Add planes, I'm all there. Planes were it back yeah, in my planes. day. 
They have planes. Mm -hmm. They had mechs. They had fucking the sword. Hector knows what I'm talking about with that. No, I really... Since this new update, I'm realizing that I really didn't play Fortnite that much. Or not nearly as much as you. Yeah. I played it since it, like, season one. The first time me and Wes played anything together, I think it was Fortnite. I'm 99% positive it was Fortnite. It was either either Fortnite or Overwatch. I think Fortnite to start, and then I'm like, I really don't know shit about this game. Let's play Overwatch. (laughs) Yeah. Yep, a lot of fun, though. Uh, well, 10 out of 10 would recommend would play actually right after this if I didn't have to go pick up my partner um what uh what else is there what's next what's new in the gaming world what else we got speaking of better games being overwatch <laughs> <laughs> yes sir the new character Malga Malga's right? pretty cool yeah he's fucking he's unbeatable yeah, yeah. He's like Ryan on speed. <laughs> yeah. Like, can't stop his charge whatsoever, except for what? Maze Wall and cool. Malga counters Malga. Orissa's ult or her gold, he just like bumps into her and keeps going. Yeah. She doesn't move. That's true. And he doesn't stop the. <laughs> No. Which is he doesn't stop, but he doesn't like affect her. Mm-hmm. Just fucking ridiculous in my opinion. Like it's it's just fucking insane. They have to nerf the guy. Like I played one match and got what was my damage, Alyssa? Like twelve K or some shit. Like it was something obscene. It was like ten, yeah. Ten or eleven. Like and I got like to four K oh, in the yeah. first point. Like it was so bad. <laughs> Just like yeah. Malga v Malga too, like you're just sitting there firing at each other, just like okay, who out heal, who out heals who here? <laughs> like that's all it is. Yeah, I don't think there's any character that can really counter him. Maybe Sombra. Uh, Sombra can't hack. Oh, I guess Sombra just to stop him from doing anything during the match. I think I yeah. saw she can get into his ult. And hack him. Like but it everyone else stop can't the go ult, in. Right? Everyone no. can. I thought you couldn't go in or out. You can go in, you can't leave once you're in. Uh, if you're an enemy. Oh, I thought it was like a shield. No. You just can't shoot into it, but you can oh, walk okay. into it. Gotcha. Yeah. Shitty. You know, I I definitely do like mobile characters to avoid him like moira's mercy's mm, reaper is pretty good i guess to melt him and then run away maybe i don't know maybe. just the one match i played it's just but <laughs> like i wish i played more of him honestly I could just I would have just like gotten as cute well, I don't think you could get his achievements while he was out, but that would have no. been really funny. <laughs> when is the new season happening? Where he gets introduced? Um, I think it's at the end of December. Because this season just started not too long ago. So why are they teasing him so early? Just because <laughs> Fortnite test? dropped same day. Ugh. Play is... test just to um work on him so that they can adjust his um cooldowns and damage and everything before they drop him actually. A lot of adjustments. Mm-hmm. That it was literally like Apex, Overwatch, and Fortnite. Um, There's some more updates that they're doing for Overwatch next season too, but it's mostly like competitive mm-hmm. stuff, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. The... Which is super good. Your rank resets each season again, and you have to do placement matches. It resets or... each season now? Or I thought it just resets at the beginning of this. No, each season, I think. And you do placement matches, just like Overwatch 1. I'd... And... 
You fifteen can... though, was it wasn't it like fifteen? Yeah, they're getting rid of the five and fifteen. Um yeah. for wins and losses, and you'll see your rank. Oh, it was fifteen at the start of Overwatch 2, I think. No, like or fifteen, like in... replacement. Yeah. Now it's it's I'm just saying. like a bar. Yeah. Like right. progression. And it like updates yeah. every after every Yeah. Yeah. Which is good. <laughs> like that's true. I like that a lot better. The placement was where I'm like, oh fuck, that's like so much competitive. I don't want to play. And uh, they're fixing the endorsement too, which is less important for you guys. But um, you used to like drop endorsement levels if nobody endorsed you in your matches, like so many matches. Mm -hmm. But now they're taking into account, like, if you've already been endorsed and you can't be endorsed by the players, or if you're on a full stack, or whatever else, you know? So that's exciting for me. <laughs> Emerald Guns, I just saw, I just sent you something, Alyssa, where I was like, it should have been Diamond. I think, I think Diamond should have been the next step. Yeah. Um, what is... How do you get it? Did they do they say anything about it? Or I think just it's just the same as gold, but you get the option now. Oh, you just competitive points. Okay, that's okay. Options. Mm -hmm. That's whatever. Unless it unless it like costs more, like progressively from like gold as they go. Oh. Maybe it's like four thousand. Right. E they also said that they're gonna like. Each season come out with more, right? Yeah. Or something. Season. I feel like they could have just released it all right now, but fuck do I know, I guess. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. I'm still a dedicated fan, and I'll still keep playing it, no matter how shitty the game gets. It's better than it started, though. Overwatch 2. That's done this Overwatch one. Yeah. I don't know. Loot boxes, bring those back. Um but otherwise pretty good changes. Malgui's fucking disgusting, but that's that's it. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Uh what else we got? Mm, I guess you wanna talk about the finals. Oh the finals. I really like this game. Um I know we, we mentioned it a little bit at the beginning of the last podcast, but most haven't played it yet, so I was the only one that knew anything. <laughs> but, no, it's really cool. Um, it's very fast-paced. Mm -hmm. Like, incredibly fast-paced. And it's like, yeah, three teams versus, like, three teams of three. And your objective is to get, like, four thousand dollars cash in the game mode that we were playing and there's like vaults you need to unlock and you need to bring it to cash outs and then you babysit those cash outs basically because the other teams can steal it but it's real difficult and you die real fast <laughs> you die fast as fuck I, I think i'm gonna start using heavy yeah you, you respawn really cool. right yeah yes. there's a countdown for you responding and then if you get a full team wipe then i think the countdown is a little longer um you can also get yeah you can revive or you can spend a coin to you know, revive yourself um, oh you can pick up their little totems to revive them somewhere else in a safer spot right Looks fucking insane. Like, uh, we were playing, and, like, I, I just didn't know what was happening. Like, Alyssa was like, oh, you just left me as I were fighting them. I was like, fighting you! Like, fighting you! I don't know where they are! <laughs> like, I was on a roof, and I, I died, like, that. And I was like, where? Like, <laughs> I, I don't know what's happening. And then, like, people have these things called, like, foam grenades. And so, like, they can basically just, like, barricade, like, areas, and that's what happened to us, is, like, it was impossible to get into this fucking crate that was flo that was just being covered, 
And it's yeah. because of their foam shit. Like, they blocked all the entrances. It's called goo grenades. You can't destroy it? You can. But, I don't know. We didn't shoot it fast enough before we got shot at by the people mm. hiding there. <laughs> Um, and the footsteps the audio in the game needs work you know everything's really loud the even your like your own teammates footsteps are as loud as the enemy team footsteps so you can't you're like stressing the whole time <laughs> on top of that as well there's so there's a few bugs that i just discovered like when i started the game like if you emote in the practice range then it fucks up your fov like horribly <laughs> Yeah, like it like puts the gun like right here, like you're just like shooting like right here, and if you emo again, the gun is gone and it's just like a zoomed in thing. Insane. I was using the uh the wheel to swap my equipment when I died, and so when I respawned, I couldn't move like left or right. I could only walk around, but I couldn't like move orientation i can only look straight and i had to open up the equipment wheel to fix it uh, so at least there was a fix for it but that was an annoying bug i was stressed i'm like my game's fucking broken <laughs> i was like then there is like um in that same aspect if you emoted or something um the fucking sometimes the gun would just like appear like fucking like Yes, go style where there's it's just stiff with like no animation to the gun. It's just <laughs> da, 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 da. like it doesn't move, but it like has like the gunfire sound, and then like you reload and it ticks a little bit and that's it. Like it's like so weird. I don't know what's up with all the fucking bugs. Like I know it's but it's just playtest still, right? Like it's yeah, not it even is. fully out. I got accepted to that, like, immediately. Same. I thought I was going to have to, like, wait a day. I thought I was going to get an email, and it was, like, seconds, minutes. <laughs> yeah, it was literal. It was literally, like, I said, play game, and it's like, okay, you need the pass for that. I was like, okay. Okay, you got the pass for that. Let's go. <laughs> I'm like, okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't know. It's, uh, I see potential i like all the destruction i feel i feel like it's gonna blow the f i think it's gonna blow someone's pc up one day all the destruction it's a real fast pace oh i saw some tips and tricks for um what counter is what in that game and then all the comments were like oh this game must be spell break so bad <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but like if there's a gas or yeah a gas grenade let off then you chuck your little pyro nade at it and it gets rid of all the gas and oh, yeah. then um it, oh, like, fuck. It up. yeah there was one other thing and i smoke. cannot remember it smoke yeah. what was i think it, do you smoke deters the pyro one i think Maybe. I don't remember, actually. Heavy, you, you can just game. run through fucking walls, by the way. Oh, yeah. You can... It's a... There's a cooldown on that ability, but, yeah. You it's fucking just nuts to me. Through the walls. You also... They also give you currency when you first get in the game, so you can pretty much just buy anything in it at the moment. Mm-hmm. Uh, that and... That little pink skin... Yeah. Heart. <laughs> I thought that was nice. That was that was nice. Uh, you can get like weapon skins. I have a fuck ton already. I I just think about just getting a gold AK. I like the AK. Um, yeah, it's fun. It's fun. It's just so goddamn confusing for my little brain. I was like trying to process so much. Yeah. It's and I feel like their like their toggles are super bad. Yeah. Like you should just be able to like them. tap and like go through that instead of like doing weapon wheel. Yeah, that's true. Like but they're Billy bumping a Billy Buppins. It doesn't take too long to swap through them though. You know? Well, with, like, medium with, like, your little jump pad, like, it's annoying to, like, okay, let me think about this for a second. Where do I put this instead of just running and doing it? 
Yeah, and you can change your loadout for the characters, and you can buy more equipment, but you get that currency after playing some matches. Right. Um, and the basic stuff costs like 600 of that currency, and then it's like 1,000 after that. Um, and you can change your loadouts, because I didn't like the jump pad whatsoever. It's a little bit iffy. It's more of like a straight up than it is like a distance. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. Play it at your own fucking eye candy risk. I think it's a fun game. It's just going to be a learning curve. Honestly, it would be probably insanely fun to just like watch. Like if someone's... Like someone who's like streaming it and stuff like that, just watching that would probably be pretty. Would probably be pretty fun. I was showing, uh, I was on the main screen or like the character screen or something, and Ash was like, "Oh, it kind of looks like Overwatch." I'm like, "It looks more like Siege, if anything else." Yeah. Um. Nothing like Overwatch. Yeah, I'm not getting Overwatch when looking at it. I don't know. It's what she knows, it's what she'll say, I guess. I don't know. Um, um, yeah, th- what else we got? <laughs> Fuck. Moving through it. Banana. Yeah, yeah. Um, before we move on from video games, mm-hmm. it's it's really unfortunate we don't have Kelly here because he's the Modern Warfare expert. Yeah. And we know None he's of got us some have touched shit that shit. Well, he specifically said not to touch it. And then you get him <clears throat> a clown. Uh, a fucking clown. I'll say that much. Yeah, dude. Well, I'm going to look for the clip of him being like, I'm not going to pre-order that shit. Me? Yes. I'm not buying that game if she ain't in it. I might eat my words later. Just depends. I know you're gonna but... buy that fucking game. You can't lie to me. You're probably gonna get the He's game. He's gonna buy the I'm fucking. Get that game. You're gonna buy the fucking game. I already know. I'm not gonna buy that game. It's we stupid. As we have yeah. him in 4K. I even <laughs> rendered it in 4K. Yeah, we'll insert it here <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> God, this motherfucker. I'm not gonna pre-order Modern Warfare 3. What a waste of money. It's for old maps. Uh, I was looking at the new operators. If it's not Mara, I'm not getting it. Like, <laughs> oh my god. He gets it and then he, he complains about it the same day. He not yeah. only got it, he pre-ordered it! Like, that's the only way you can play the campaign right now. Like, what the fuck? Why did you do that? Fucking Kelly. Yeah. Is he enjoying anything about the game? He finished it in three <laughs> hours, he said. Oh. I don't think yeah. Kelly enjoys anything now. Like, actually. Like, I think he just <laughs> keeps putting yeah. himself through this cycle of this was pure shit. This was awful. This is my favorite hero, and they killed her. It was fucking <laughs> She Hulk, fucking Modern Warfare 3. My fucking uh, Black, Widow. Black Widow, fucking uh, Cowboy Bebop live action, fucking nothing he the loves Mad he Mad. actually likes. But I, what the fuck does Kelly have to say about FNAF? But yeah, didn't he say that he hated it? In he the said group? two out of ten. Yeah. yeah. Kelly's not a fan of FNAF. She can eat a dick. I am. Did you watch it though? I haven't seen it yet. Why oh. not? I've been meaning to. I just haven't gotten around to it. Do it. Yeah, I know. I need to. I know. I know. I've been watching. Oh. Oh, have you seen it? Yeah, I saw it. I, I liked, liked it. it. I liked it. I never, I never played FNAF at all. Not a lick. But it was a decent movie. It kept me entertained. Yep. I forgot it was a horror movie because I've only ever seen Markiplier play it. <laughs> and so for me, it's like a comedy. Mm. And so I was like, oh, yeah, let's go watch FNAF on Saturday Island. He's like, OK. And then I bought the tickets and I'm like, hmm, it's a horror. But it was not <laughs> spooky. 
uh, like one jump scare that got me only because then Alan like slapped his hand on my thigh and like mm. shook and I'm like don't fucking touch me <laughs> <laughs> that was scarier than the movie <laughs> yeah, it kept it, it was pretty good. lighthearted it was really obvious without giving too much details away you know yeah. um love Matthew thought, Lillard yes Shaggy for the win mm -hmm. he's a great actor yeah, yes. I saw this I saw a meme where it was like a clip from the Scooby Doo movie that he's in. Yeah. But he's on the the bunnies animation animatron. Animatronic. Animatronic. This yeah. you're talking about Spring Trap. Yeah. He like turns around the same way he does in that movie. He's like, Are you that. challenging me? Yeah. Some shit like that. I didn't know that he was in the movie until like I saw that TikTok too. That's funny. Um, I also know that uh, what's his fucks in it, which is Hutcherson, huh? Josh, Josh Hutcherson. Hutcherson, yeah. Uh, Hunger Games. Peter Miller. Oh, uh, I was wondering why that dude looks so familiar. No, I was talking about Matt Pat. Breach Terabithia. Who? Oh, Matt Pat, the one bitch he was talking about. It's just a theory. Really I don't think. Um. They're He's having breakfast. It. It's just a theory. Okay, anyways. Um, uh, <laughs> I Mark thought it was Hunter pretty was supposed to be in the movie as well, but he turned it down for... A, his own movie. His own movie that he obviously is having a bigger role in. It was just a scheduling conflict. Hmm. But He was he supposed was to be the security the, guard. Yeah. In he the was supposed to be Josh Hutcherson's role. Mm, no, no, no. Oh, the first one that died. Spoilers. Oh. Not really. <laughs> really off topic, but I'm looking at my PC right now. That shit dusty as fuck in there. I know Your damn whole well you home don't is clean probably it dusty. Ever. I clean it. I actually just cleaned it like recently, so you can suck a dick. Oh, so the proof is in the pudding, bitch. <laughs> what was your book about your PC? Oh, what was the last time you did? Oh, Not long ago. Last month. Last month. You're fucking full of shit. I know damn well you did not do that last month. I dusted down, and I don't have canned air, but I'm a lady. I got a blow dryer. I put that shit on cool. <laughs> I mean, I guess that. I don't see why it's that not would as high work. pressured. Yeah. yeah, it's not yeah. as high pressured for some areas, but it gets like the main dust. I think it's not a bad. <laughs> if it works, I gotta get some yeah. more canned air. Um, yeah, FNAF movie seems pretty good. I gotta get into it, dude. I've been seeing so many cosplayers like with the FNAF suits, and I think that I think that they're really sick. Like that takes so much fucking devotion. It's insane to me. Um, well, fuck. Wait, here we go. What's another topic? No, we're done. That's it. And that's all we have. Yeah. Oh all shit! Right. Okay, how about AI? Let's talk about AI. Oh, AI. I've so the new Disney movie. I don't know if it's out in theaters or out in general, but it's something like wish or i wish i don't know if you guys heard about it but apparently that whole thing is ai scripted ai everything i'm from what i heard don't quote me um <laughs> but i saw a snippet of a song and like it's really shitty like just not disney quality not like written by authentic people like it just sounds Fake sounds. AI sounds. Destroy <laughs> the human race. <laughs> <laughs> it's like fucking singing about I love robots. Like a Lin Manuel ripoff. The AI Man. was trying. Yeah, he writes like all the music for all the newest um, Disney movies. Did you guys know on content. on that like little like snippet? Topic there. Did you guys know that Bungie 
just laid off the lead composer that's been working for Bungie for 20 years and did most of the Halo soundtracks and Destiny soundtracks. You sure he didn't just, like, retire? No, they no, they let him go because they did a fuck ton of layoffs and they decided, oh, we don't need this guy anymore. No, I mean, got has AI. he had any hits since Halo? Destiny. <laughs> He's done, like, all of Destiny as well. Look where that game is. Yeah, well, that's their, their, that's their main focus, because it's Bungie, but... You know, it's their game. It's whatever. But that pissed me. That, that's fucking insane. Halo had some of the best orchestral music, like, ever. It's games. So, like, it's just... Ow, fuck. That's just fucking insane to me. Anyway. Um... But yeah, uh, AI. So we haven't really talked, I don't think, too much about like the uh, AI generator at all. Um, or like we talked about AI a little bit, but like, how much do you guys trust AI? Like, with like, say like you had a Tesla, right? Autopilot. You're you had a little AI fucking chauffeur. You trusting that dude to get you from point A to point B? Nope. Yeah, but I'm not going to fall asleep with it on. How many times would it take you to fall asleep with it on? 50. 50? 50 good goes and you're all good to go? Yeah, maybe. What would you uh, name your AI chauffeur? Alfred. Obviously. Jarvis. <laughs> Alfred and Jarvis are two really good answers, actually. Nice. Um, Edith. Friday. Edith, Friday. I forgot about Edith. Huh. I was just watching that movie today. And not finishing Attack on Titan? I didn't have enough time before the podcast. Oh. Yeah. Nah. Um... But yeah, no, so, like, AI is obviously becoming very, 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 very prominent. Uh, did you guys know that, <laughs> I, swear, I don't even know what, like, site it is. I think it's, like, a Google AI. Uh, if you, like, curse at it or, like, say something, like, derogatory to this fucking AI, like, oh, nice. Good wife. good wife. Good wife. That's my wife. <laughs> um... If you say something derogatory to the AI, it'll be like it'll give you the answer that you at that you asked for, and then it'll be like, you know, you could use less harsh words, you fucking asshole. I don't really want to do this for you anymore, so I'm not going to. It literally like tells you off, and like the someone on the official podcast is like going through the whole motions and was like. You're just a fucking puppet, you fucking robot. Like, you just answer my fucking questions, like, saying shit like that. It's like, I don't like your tone. Uh, not, not happening. And it's like, what the fuck? Why are we giving them a, why are we giving them emotion? Yeah, I don't buy with AI. I am convinced that it's going to take over. <laughs> I don't know. I think Maybe I, all these people in Teslas are going to crash at the exact same time. Fucking Elon is gonna launch his own plane company. Fucking self flying planes. I saw a video of one woman saying how she'll never be in a vehicle that's self driving, and she works for a company that produces those cars and she doesn't Fire. trust it. Yeah, I was like, if you work, she didn't like elaborate on which company. And she did, like, it was anonymous, so she's a little protected, I guess. But, yeah, I'm like, if someone that works for a company doesn't trust it, <laughs> I can't trust it. Uh, i definitely give self-driving a try. That's, like, the whole market for Teslas, in my opinion. Um, mm -hmm. But, I so I'd have to do it at least once or twice. But, I don't know. Um, fuck. Okay. Uh, but yeah, no, AI is pretty wild. Like, what was the last time you guys talked to your AI on Snap? Never. Never? 
I haven't once. Mm. I don't know. Mine says 17 weeks ago. 15 weeks ago. Damn. Oh, yeah. I asked it to write a heartfelt letter. 28 um, weeks ago. For me and Sam. Oh, cute. Like for us to send to companies so that we could get wedding gifts. Oh, <laughs> that's cute. Yeah. We Did still you haven't get gotten any? anything back. Oh. Yeah, it's so fucking useful though. Like doing resumes, doing fucking papers, doing fucking. Well, like movie scripts is kind of shitty because of, you know, like the, the strike and whatnot. But like it can do it technically, which is fucking nuts. Um. AI could literally beat a video game for you now as it learns to beat a video game. Uh, not that you'd fucking make AI do that, because if you did, like, what's wrong with you? Why? Yeah. Why, play? Why even play? Uh, but it's just, it's also for super cool. Like, you could do it for fucking uh, Twitch as well. Like, doing all that shit. Uh, setting up, you can have AI be a mod. Like, that's insane. <laughs> insanity hey no n-words in the chat and it's just it just kicks them just like that no problem um yeah. i think i would grow to trust ai like once it gets stronger i feel like we're gonna have an omnic crisis on our hand yeah well, i'm waiting for the star wars droids Star Wars droids? Yeah, like that's kind of what AI is. I don't yeah. know about that. Like R2? Or 3PO, yeah. They're like <laughs> artificially intelligent and intelligent. 3PO is actually supposed to be like a really like intelligent robot. He is. Well, he's supposed to be like crazy intelligent, like able to tell you like anything. Can't he? No, he doesn't know shit. He's like, oh shit, the ops wobble. Like he leaves. He's not a combat robot. He's a protocol droid. Yeah, but like he's not like he's like afraid like a human. Um Yeah. He's you... meant for like protected areas for like politicians and shit, not for being in a war zone. How do you guys feel about an AI toilet that will tell you the exact weight of the shit you just shit and its nutritional value and then say thank you? Why would you need that? For health? Right. When you're like 60. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. But I, I did at no, least want to see it. that says thank you. You're so I guarantee toilets do that already. Sure, someone's get a it. get one that's you know those Japanese ones with a bidet and all those other mm -hmm. fancy buttons. I guarantee they say thank you. You guys <laughs> ever used a bidet? No. Yep. What's that? What's that like, honk? I. They're nice. Did it go in or? <laughs> no. What? <laughs> okay. So. Did it just have a fucking? <laughs> boom? I have... I have stories. You have sto stories. Plural? Plural? Stories. Yes. Hey. So, in Japan, right? So, I remember the first night I tried one. I think they're nice, but they have different power levels. And since the buttons are all in different language, you can't, I couldn't tell, like, what to do, what to press. <laughs> and I think it hit me with the strongest power level. Like, the water stream that can cut through metal type shit. <laughs> that shit had me bleeding. Actually bleeding? bleeding? Mm-hmm. Actually yeah. bleeding. Who yeah. on earth would use that then? People with tough assholes. Resistant. <laughs> they should have People like a picture, colors. like like a like Callous the water teams. like like slowly getting stiffer or something for the buttons. It was confusing, but but if you know how to operate it, they're nice. What what was the next yeah. story? Like what 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 was your next experience? After you uh, stopped bleeding. Um, 
Now, some of them are like pretty janky, like in the like, obviously the nest, less nice places. But if you're in a nice area that has like really high tech area, like very clean bathroom, very pleasant, good little spritz and spray, get out of here, Velma. So after a big day, do you like still wipe? Yeah, you can to like dry it off. Right. How I long does it go? Also, for? just because I'm not entirely sure, it got everything. Like I just yeah. want to. I don't want to pull up my pants and have shit yeah. on me. I think that's the point. It's like it gives you a good spray cleaning to get the majority, and then you like tidy up afterwards and dry yourself. How long does it last though? Um, like five to ten seconds. That's 10 seconds is so long. Like, really you think about that. control the temperature, that. too. <laughs> it's that just, like, the highest pressure boiling water straight to your ass. <laughs> like That's a, what a I good wanted. warm water, gentle. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, my God. I'm going to clip that. I'm going to save that. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> no, they're nice. Oh, I just can't imagine that being. What are you eating, by the way? Pigs in a blankie. Aww. I like how you say blankie. <laughs> in a blanket. Yeah. <laughs> Pigs in a blankie. Mm-hmm. It's cozy. I don't. I feel like a bidet would be very useful for me. Um, I don't know how I, I definitely wouldn't like it the first few times around. That's for damn sure. <laughs> Whether I it's high pressured or not. I'd, I'd feel mildly uncomfortable, I think. I think Alan would love that. I think Alan would like a bidet. Yeah, 100%. You could get one at Walmart. Yeah, I know. I was just thinking that right now, too. God. Like. Oh, God. Speaking of toilets, it. a little off topic, but Megan Trainer and her husband by kids guy the orange they have a toilet that faces each other two toilets what if they have to like pee at the same time or i she mentioned and she elaborated that they never like go number two at the same time it's strictly just like if you have to pee but a but little insane does he pee sitting down then yeah she said he's smart he pees sitting down she just outed him like that I don't know. A lot of people do it, apparently. I pee sitting down. Yeah. Alan do sometimes. I think it's just more like, why would I waste my energy standing? Yeah, he says if he's at home, guaranteed. I only really stand if it's a urinal. Fascinating. Huh? Fascinating. So you always stand and piss into a toilet? Yeah. Always. If I'm if I know I'm just gonna be pissing, I'm not gonna sit down. So do you lift up the seat every time? Yeah. Okay. Cause too many guys don't, and then they get piss dribble on the seat, and that pisses me off. Yeah, I I always I always lift the seat. I just don't think it's worth the risk. Yeah. I don't know. I I do usually sit down though. I don't see like I just don't think it fucks with masculinity. Like who fucking gives a shit? You're gonna watch me piss in here, buddy. You're gonna watch me piss right now. Do it. Yeah, it's 2023, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what she said. <laughs> the one time me and Wolves are on the same page. <laughs> I don't know. Um, how do you guys feel about we're on the talk about bathrooms again? We always get back to this at some point. Um, but like, how do we feel about like we we all know that we unanimously hate uh beach bathrooms and water park bathrooms. That's just like straight up. They they all suck. Uh, how do we feel about like stadium bathrooms? Same thing. Like awful. Mm. Hmm. So- I don't know if it's every stadium bathroom, but the ones I've been to for the men, it's like a trough. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was gonna bring up, dude. It's so unholy. It's so bad. It's wrong. It's wrong. There's so there's no dividers. It's just one big ass urinal that's basically a trough. Yeah. 
that's yeah. barbaric. Yeah. Bar fucking barrack. Like, I hate when it's even just separate urinals, but no dividers. I hate that. But a whole trough? And, like, if you can really? fit, you can piss. Like, that's the crazy shit. Like, it's not like a... Like, with urinals, it's like, okay, one guy per urinal. This is a trough. Like, people can sit on the sides of this trough and piss. Yeah, that's insane. You can, like, literally cross streams. That's fucking I'm sure it's been done. I'm pretty sure I actually it was at a Padre Stadium, I think, that they have that. And my dad uh and That's I the were, one I'm thinking of. Padres, yeah. Th- that's uh one think. right next to the convention center, yeah. I think so. Yeah. yeah. I me and my dad were gonna go to the bathroom and my dad went and did it. I think it's just because he's military, he doesn't give a shit. I don't but like I saw that and was like I don't need to piss mm-hmm. that bad. Like <laughs> that's not. You can happening. just go in the stall then. Um, I'm pretty sure they're there. Yeah, and if they and if if there was an open stall, it was probably full of poopy. Like not even just in the toilet. Stadium bathrooms are awful. Mm-hmm. It's weird because like we know they can afford to upgrade this shit. They're rolling in it. Yeah, just don't do it. Like do it during the fucking off season. What? Like, you're going to charge $15 for a hot dog, but you can't upgrade the bathrooms? Like, you could charge, like, okay, $15 a hot dog. That goes towards the person at the concessions. Cool, whatever. Pay them. That's fine. Uh, Tickets, merchandise, fucking other shit. Like, that should go straight into the stadium. Donations in general. Help support your fucking Padres. Change the bathroom. <laughs> So are there like many sinks in your guys' restrooms? Or is there always like minimal, like two, three mats or some shit? Because like men don't wash their hands. And I feel like having urinals and like a wall of urinals and then a wall of stalls, like there's not much room left for your fucking sinks. And men don't wash their hands. So like they don't care that there's not a lot. In, I just feel like the men's restrooms are the nastiest things on earth. In in casinos, they have a big ass row of urinals on one wall, and then you go to an uh, like the middle part, and there's two rows of sinks in that whole middle part, and then the other side is all like uh, stalls. Yeah, I prefer restrooms that are like that that are split. Because, like, I hate washing my hands and having someone shitting right next to me, basically. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the airport was actually, like, very similar to the casino, now that I think about it. Yeah. Ooh. I, during my travels, in an airport, the amount of women that didn't wash their hands after using the restroom was insane. I'm like, you're traveling, you're touching so many germs, and you're in public and all these women are watching you. I know damn well you're aware. And you're just comfortable shitting, pissing, walking out without washing your hands. That's disgusting. If you could... I thought it was just men, but like, I think there were an obscene, like, 10 women that didn't wash their hands. You were watching that many women? Well, a guesstimate, but like, yeah, like, the mirror's right mm. in front of you. It's not like. Mm. If there's anything else to look at then this is fucking Madero Chiha just watching ladies not wash their hands after they shit <laughs> again. It's people crazy. watching in the bathroom yeah <laughs> <laughs> um, and then they just walk up to the sink some of them just rinse I'm like no soap so what <laughs> uh, yeah, so what so this is really <laughs> this is like on topic and off topic um i think i know Alyssa's answers uh but if you could just like walk up to a celebrity no consequences or anything like no one's gonna no one's gonna know your name no one's gonna see this happen besides whoever you choose walk up to a celebrity pop a squat and shit right in front of them shit in front of them yeah just to like disrespect them yeah kind of or mm. or maybe not. It's whatever your intentions are. I'm pretty yeah, sure they'll see it in the face. 
Nick. <laughs> hmm, that's tough. Because, like, fuck Nick Cage, but, like, do I hate him the most? I don't mind. Serious. Um, have you guys seen Shameless? Mm-hmm. Debbie's actress. I hate really? Debbie so much. You hate Debbie so much? I think I hate her more than any other person. You know what? Since. Her character is the fucking worst. Well, the, yeah, the, isn't Debbie the sister? Choice. Yeah. Well, they're she's all the siblings. <laughs> Wasn't she, like, trying to take care of everybody, though? Uh, when she was a little yeah. kid, and then she started getting too big for her own britches. Yeah, but the dad she wasn't any like the bad decisions. Yeah, she like raped a man basically to have a baby at like fourteen or something. Yeah, and then she like tried to date someone that was over eighteen years old. Mm -hmm. She was like in love with him, and he's like, "Girl, you're underage. I like you, but no." But still, like that whole interaction was shitty. <laughs> Jeez. It was insane. She, like, kind of forced herself to be gay, too. Yeah, that's true. She dated a couple girls, and I don't think she initially wanted to. It was weird. Yeah. I, yeah. Whatever yeah. Your, your question, <laughs> her. Her. Is the actress also really shitty? Or is she no, I, I follow her. I think she's pretty fun. She's nice. I see her TikTok sometimes, and I'm just like, ugh. I so you just hate no the hate. character they play, and not the actor. No hate, but I hate her lips. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but like that's genetic; she can't control it. She always looks tired. Yeah, and shameless. I guess it's the character. I don't know. Um, I'd probably like. I'd shit in front of the rock. He's a nice guy. Oh, you know what? Maybe John Cena. I don't like him <laughs> at all. I'd shit in front of one of them. Maybe both of them. I could. <laughs> a twofer. <laughs> a twofer. Yeah. And then I just, yeah, I nice. just fucking leave. But just get to stare at my shit now. Yeah. Helen Kelly. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> All right. Well, we're at an hour, and we ran and we ran out of topics anyway. Um, <laughs> so let's fucking close this up. We, God, what the fuck am I gonna title this? The shit episode. That was All like right. the last five minutes. Yeah, it was like twenty. It's a lot. Yeah. And we talked about shit for a little. Bit. The days. Yeah. Yep. All right. Well, thank you guys for listening to this episode of Camping Buddies. Uh, fuck Kelly. Still, um, uh, check us out on Twitch. Check us out on Spotify, YouTube, Apple Podcasts, all that good stuff, and tell your friends. Bye bye. Bye.